Hey, many fish. It's the 20th of January, 2018. And I just put up a video and I just took down a video. Because I done messed up. I apparently am misunderstanding. Well, not anymore. But I definitely misunderstood how this is worded here. To take it as though Cleophas was actually at the crucifixion. So this was a bit of confusion on my part, but nonetheless, I saw, I was reading this, and I saw this Cleophas um, in the scripture. And then I saw this article here, Arizona serial killer suspect linked to nine killings in three weeks. And I'm, I click on it because I grew up in Arizona. That's like, you know, I lived there for a long time. And now my browser's freezing up, and I have no idea why. But anyway, this guy's name was Cleophas. Same as John 19.25, who also was with um, the others walking to, uh, what was the name of the town there? This is just such fascinating stuff. It really, truly is. To the uh, town of Emmaus. I guess you'd call that when Jesus appeared to him and they didn't know it was him until they got, they convinced him to stay the night. And then when they broke bread, they knew it was just a fa unbelievable story. Unbelievable. But anyway, I see Cleophas, Cleophas Cooksey. And I'm just, I was taken back. So, you know, I'm reading the article and inside this article, he killed, this man killed nine people, including his mother. He killed his mother, murdered her. And one of the other people he killed on December 11th was named Jesus Bonifacio Real. That translates into Jesus Bonafide Real. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I also notice, you know, Phoenix, you see the little emblems for the Phoenix Police Department here. Purple with the Phoenix bird rising. And there's all his victims there. And I could go through this article a lot. I could. But that's not really what I wanted to show you. Well, it's not all I wanted to show you. This guy's last name was Cooksey. And that struck me as odd as well. Because I never, you never hear that name. When's the last time you heard the name Cooksey? So I did a search on it. And one of the first results I come up with was right here. This man named Christopher Cooksey, is a chemist, obviously, uh, uh, some kind of scientist, right? And he, from what I see here, is the, is the only scientist that's gone back to like 1500 BC, to Phoenicia, you know, the uh, ancient Phoenicians. And he reconstructed what was called Tyrian purple back then, which was literally like gold. This, this stuff was literally worth its weight in gold. Phoenician purple, royal purple, imperial purple. And I'll link all this stuff, but these were the Phoenicians, right? Yeah, Phoenicia. Phoenicia, 1500 BC, five, right through the times of like Solomon. Uh, their religion was Canaanite. See here, Hiram was one of their more well-known kings, and Hiram Abith, very famous in the Freemasonry world, which I'm going to do some videos here coming up about basically my testimony because he's I'm being led to do that because it ties into so much of the stuff that I show you. It's just amazing. But yeah, Hiram was basically buddies with Solomon, building the second temple with... Uh, Phoenician uh, workers. So this guy, Cooksey, is the <laughs> the modern day uh, guru on Tyrian purple, and that, that that just blew me away. And the fact that it's from Phoenicia, and these murders occurred in Phoenix, I had to share this stuff with you. And again, you know, the blue blood moon comes into play. I just can't get away from it. 
It's just the simple fact that it's a blue blood moon that I can't get away from. So, I mean, I had to share this stuff with you. And again, you know, forgive me for misquoting scripture. That's the last thing I ever want to do. And thank you, Cynthia, for pointing that out right away like that. Because that's what we need to do for each other. And I would do it for anybody else if I, was, if I saw something that needed correction. And that needed correction. So... That's that. Uh, I guess I could summarize this up. I, I had a pretty good video put together there, I thought. <laughs> it's interesting that the Fox News' little uh, tidbit newsreel here is exactly 23 seconds long. That they tell us he killed nine in three weeks. And, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to just fill video space here. There is so much here that I can't contain it. And, you know, my biggest fear is not articulating it out to you properly and clearly. So, that's why I'm making this uh, this remake here. And I guess uh, that'll do it. Um, Shabbat Shalom to y'all. I'll probably be talking to you more today. Going to be doing a lot of reading, a lot of studying, and a lot of praying. A lot of seeking. And I suggest we all do the same. So, peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God 